if anything. You get a story out of this. You get a story out of this. You get a story out of this. Okay, I'm going to go over to the right. You're going to pass me here. Okay. On a corner? Okay. Oh, boy. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared somebody's going to tissue you because I'm leaking from my ass. You are a dick. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now you can see we, we went from home down the Highway 37 to Terrace Kitimat Rupert. We didn't do the Alaska Highway there. I outlined it on the right which we've also done many times, but we're going to focus on this final leg here, leaving Terrace, going up Niska area to Jinjol, right there, and then getting up to Cranberry Junction, which was, joins Nass Road to the Stewart Cassiar Highway 37. Okay, check the port of interest for anything. Wow! That is like glass. Okay, so that's lunch. Peaches and bagels, in case the other camera didn't get it. That's where they put their camera on a gimbal. Follow the motorcycles, everything remote controlled. And they're following the big KTM 950. Don't see those too much anymore. The GS Trophy, Moscow bags. The Boulevard, just for a little bit of chrome. And the other hardcore. This is what these guys do. Or have you met him up here on the Nishka Highway at Vetter Falls? How frickin' cool is that? I gotta get back to my peaches and cream. We did watch a couple minutes of their filming. They were mostly filming the KTM uh, 950s. Of course, I'm gonna have everything recording right now. What's that? But look at that guy right in my way. <laughs> this is not good, Bill. I guess I better pop a wheelie. Yeah. Hey? Yeah, how strange in the middle of nowhere you meet all these motorcyclists doing a, a video shoot. Anyways, we said hello, had a nice visit, and then got back on. And uh, then things really started to get good. There they are. The lava fields. Well, I'll be damned. On both sides of the highway. Wow, it goes on for quite a... That's cool. So we're going to Jingloks. Well, if we would, we'd miss the lava flows. There's no need for that. Yeah, Jinjo, Jinjo. I mispronounced his name so badly. My apologies. Now, I could have filmed for, for half an hour. here. these amazing curves, left, rights, left, rights. And you'll notice, you know, you always have a bug on your windshield, a bug on your visor, and I've got a bug on the camera lens. But I am going to leave this on just to give you an idea of the footage. And um, just a reminder, you've got to keep those lenses clean. It finally does open up, though, to the ocean. What an amazing, twisty, beautiful little ride. The rider told me you have to make a right towards the gas station, and that goes the same way we're supposed to go. Oh, my. Because that means we have to come out again. Stop. I gotta yeah, go. that's the end of the road. See, that guy told me to go right. I don't know why I went left. Because we needed to see this. This is spectacular. Yeah, my wife had anemia this summer, and, of course, my medical issues are too long, so we were just bagged and decided to get back on the bikes. Okay, just so that we know, we're leaving this little town called Gin Gulch. We took a wrong turn. My fault. A couple hours ago. Here we are, and it's just the most amazing little village, really. I mean, they said they saw orcas out in the bay this morning, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow, although it doesn't look like rain right now. Yeah, we just decided to ride back on this amazing road. Tired as we were. So cool. Here we are. This is where we came up <laughs> from Terrace and said, oh, let's go left. And we should have went right. That road right there goes back to Terrace. But it turned out to be just an amazing uh, side trip. Yeah, it was like 57 kilometers or no, 50 kilometers, right? 
Oh, Jesus. 70 kilometers. Yeah, 70 kilometers to the end of the world, according to the German tourist. And then back, and now we're going to go into New Inch. Let it be recorded that we're pulling into New Inch to get gas before we go to the Cranberry Junction to head to Medviaden. But we appear to be on the right road in the right direction at this particular time. Katarina just tried to pave the road with her bike. And, uh, damn, I didn't have the camera on, but no harm done. A couple scratches. Oh, I just missed it. Missed what? No, no, keep going. Keep going. There's Isn't another that the gas? There's another way in. Right there. Okay, right there. Okay, yes. Calm down. I'm trying to calm down. Yeah, nothing, okay. like, a, nothing like a good spill to get your... Heart racing? Get your nerves up. Absolutely. I'll turn the camera off now so we don't have to hear her whine. Okay, Cranberry Junction is 62. And then apparently we got gravel from 40K, and then everything will be beautiful. And the road continues to be just amazing. Here, I'll show you. Actually, it's 60-something kilometers right to the junction with Highway 37, gravel included. Wow. So just a few kilometers from New Ianch, 11 kilometers actually, we turn into this gravel. It's not chip seal, but it's not really, really bad gravel. And apparently we got 40 kilometers of this. Babe. Well, that's some really good signage. Um, the road split to the right. He said stay to the right. We're going. We don't know where we're going. You know what I can do? I can Google, and it will tell us where we're at, and I can see where we're going. Yeah, so because this stop. is crazy. Okay. We just went down a logging road. The guy said go right, but Google has showed us that we were errored. So this gravel road is different from that gravel road over there. This is the road we want. Yeah, so there is traffic and they drive like there's nobody else on the road. We just missed somebody there. Yeah, missed is a good word because we only saw one vehicle on this 40-something kilometer gravel road. But they were going like there was a, they were in a hurry and sideways. Uh, so, and I, I don't think... Dusty, though. <laughs> I don't think this is a live logging road because they're usually a lot rougher than this. But be careful. Look at the fall colors here already. Holy crap. Well, maybe not so much on the trees, but the leaves are coming down hard. Okay, so we were just coming off of the NAS service road, 45 kilometers of gravel, and this is Highway 37 North. Okay, it's clear to go, baby. Yeah, this is Cranberry Junction, where the NAS road meets with uh, Highway 37, Stuart Castor Highway. I am covered in a fine talc. Yeah, my wife's first jaunt on the DL, anyways, on a gravel road. She's got lots of dirt bike time. <coughs> Both bikes are just covered. Wow, well, that was a different way home. Never done that. Pulling into our home away from home is the Adden, same room. Great place to stay. Not crowded, quiet enough, perfect. Leaving Ms. Adden for the second time. Northbound. Yeah. Only 394 kilometers yesterday, but it felt like a million. Wow. Well, we did 130 in the wrong way. Now we go up 37, but instead of going right to go home. It says we'll go... you have to stop, but what do you think? Oh, please. <laughs> and then we go left Stewart. This is pretty nice. Yeah. Tell already uh, going to Stewart is a good decision. It's been a bit of a wow factor on this short trip for sure. Yeah, it has been. You, think, like... you know, a lot of people travel halfway around the world to see what's in our backyard. Wow. It was a little stormy, but it turned out good. We got a room. Stuart and uh, in a hotel that actually is on both sides of the road. We were on the other side of the road. Perfect view if you like locking trucks. The views actually get much better once you start wandering around town. And you can go a half hour from here is the big glacier. And uh, Alaska's right there. You can zip over and see the bears. There's a bear walk. Stuart is a pretty nice little town. Very cool. Okay, we're leaving Stuart. Fires are burning on the Alaska Highway. Roads closed, but not 
a little ways away from where we want to go, but there is a little bit of tension in the air. Yeah, we've had our share of delays. This is back in 2015. We had a huge delay for forest fires in BC, and we were just bagged. My uh, brother and sister-in-law picked us up. Rescuing our sorry asses after eight hours of waiting for the... Oh! I, oh, okay, I'm scared. Oh! Okay. Yeah, we didn't want to repeat that. Stewart is just lovely. Well worth the visit. See the bear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying not to. That's weird because I just turned my camera on. Way in the distance. My pretty little friend. You 35 years, so we have some pretty uh, passionate discussions. Uh, she's pretty feisty, if you know what I mean. Close up. Calm down. Yeah, you're one to talk. Okay, they call that the Bitter Creek, I think. But it's actually a very angry little river. But if I stand up here, I can... Oh, man, that thing is just... I have to go down there naked on an inner tube. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a just a blast. Oh, you'd be so numb in a couple minutes, you wouldn't feel the pain when it ended. <laughs> Are you getting off? Nope, I just want to get a look at that glacier right there. Because I got the camera going. Wow. Okay. This is it, fell two right on. Oh, the choppers are in. Maybe we'll see one taking off. Yeah, I filmed the choppers taking off and lost the footage. What is the KTM 1290? They're like, I'm going to go over here. I actually lost quite a bit of footage on this trip. First time that's ever happened. Uh, stuff happens. And Bell 2 is just amazing. Look at the bikes. It always just seems to be clogged with motorcycles in the summertime. And then, north, north, north. We're coming back to Highway 37 Junction. Alaska Highway's right up there. Yep, looking good. Beautiful. Okay, thanks for coming out. We're just about home, crossing the mighty Teslin. Wow, the water is absolutely like glass. Remember, if you come this way, drop a line to Wild Bill's Garage. We knew everybody. Not a breeze, it's amazing. This is rare for the Yukon. Everybody who's somebody, or at least who thinks there's somebody, and that's important. We know the northern roads quite well. So look forward to seeing you in 2019. This is the place to be.